Hey Scorpio, it's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I am here with your April 2016 monthly general tarot scope. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been liking and sharing and subscribing to my videos, and for those who have been purchasing personal readings from me, I love you all. And also to those who follow me on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. I am Jim, G-E-M, the butterfly, underscore tarot. Um, I also was made aware that I need to make you guys aware that I have a donate button on my channel. So if you feel like you want to donate to, to Mama Jim, just in, to, in, um, in appreciation and support of what I do here, bringing these monthly readings to you guys, Feel free, no minimum amount required. Amount required. Um, anything is appreciated. I don't care if you give me fifty cents. I'll be happy with that. Too. It doesn't matter. Um, let's see what else we have. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. General. I have to say it again. General, general, general reading. Meaning that some of it may apply. None of it may apply. All of it may apply. It just depends. Um, if it doesn't, I encourage you to look at your, to listen to your rising sign or your moon sign. If you don't know either one of those, then you need to go. You have to know your uh, time of birth and your place of birth. Go online, Google a um, birth chart calculator, and you can put that in, and it will give you your rising sign and your moon sign. Now, if you should happen to listen to me and none of them resonate with you, that's okay too. That's not a problem. That just means that I'm just not the reader for you this month. I don't have the message for you this month. That doesn't it doesn't mean anything towards my reading skills or anything. It's just that I'm just not that person. There are a whole slew of other great tarot readers that you can listen to that will have your message. Okay? We try to keep the comments on the page positive as much as we can. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be drawing some cards. I'll draw one for general, one for advice, um, three for love, three for career, three for finance, three for health, okay? Let's just see what we have coming in for Scorpio. Mm. Y'all have to please excuse these fingernails, honey. I have to go to the shop to these things. Done, baby. It's bad up over here. Um, I'm coming, baby. And, so. and keep in mind with health, it could be spiritual health, emotional health, physical health, mental health. You know, your health is holistic. We talk about the whole being. You know. Okay. All right, guys. Let's turn these. Let's see what. Oh, I forgot. I've been doing one by one. So let's just see what we have for general energy. the Emperor card um what I feel for the Emperor I feel a couple of things for the Emperor I feel this month could be surrounded by a couple of things I feel like there's a strong male energy around Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire sign I feel more Aries in Sagittarius, not much Leo. Um, probably a father, boss, could be a husband. Um, if it's not a person, this is 
just a general energy of trying to get everything in order. Um, I, I'm feeling like there's a person that, not necessarily overbearing, but this person is, you know that they are the leader. They know that they are the leader. They are very author authoritative. Um, could be a slight bit demanding, but they, they have very high expectations. This could be you. This could be your energy, Scorpio, that you could be exuding during the month of April. But I just feel like there's a strong need for for order, as if to, to say that in the recent past there's been some chaos and things were feeling off balance or off kilter. So I feel like with April, things, it, things have to get right. It can't go on any further like the way it has been going, okay? That's, that's just what I'm feeling. There's need for structure. I hear, this is what I hear, like, you got to do this now, right, you cannot wait, that's what I hear, and that's what I feel, like, step by step by step by step by step, so let's just look and see what love is talking about, all right, put my little crystals down, ooh, love, you have the ten of pentacles, and you guys know I don't read in reversals, the eight of wands, Wonderful love card so far. Let's see what we got. Ooh. And the devil card. Okay. Now, I'm seeing this in two ways. And I like to give, you know, I make sure that I, whatever messages that I get, I'm letting you guys know. First things first, I feel like in relation to the emperor, these three cards in love is talking about you're needing to get yourself together when it comes to a particular relationship that probably seems very, that has been very hard for you to break away from, okay? This relationship feels very karmic to me. Um, and I feel for some people, it may have happened in the past or it's going to happen this month that you will be breaking away from this person, this person, the devil card is represented by Capricorn. So this person could be a Capricorn, could be an earth sign. Um, I actually feel like even though it's represented by Capricorn, I, I kind of feel like um, they have maybe this person. <laughs> it may be this emperor. It may be an Aries or a Sagittarius. It has a very fiery energy to me, to it, um, and maybe that's just, maybe, maybe, so I feel like although these cards, they don't indicate anything negative, I feel like someone may be getting out of an abusive relationship, that's, that's not a, for a lot of people, very few, um, but some of you are really making that decision this week, I mean, this month, to break away from a relationship, and you're going to do it swiftly. You may have been with this person for a while. You may have been, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like years. You may have been with them at least 10 years, you know, or longer. Or it could be a long-term relationship or a marriage, something like that. Or maybe y'all have kids together, but you're moving fast away. You may even be traveling, flying away. But you're getting like like you're going out and you and you're you're making an escape, okay? Um, and part of it is because you're letting go of this. You're releasing yourself. There's, there's a, a karmic a karmic bond between you and someone else. Now, for some of you who are not, you know, if you're in a happy relationship and you're satisfied with your relationship, uh, or even if you're single. I'm feeling like this is your, you guys are in a good spot. And what I mean is you have reached a level within your relationship, whether it's with a mate or with yourself, that you're very comfortable with yourself, you know what to expect from each other, you, you're, or, or if you're single, you know you're learning yourself. You're learning, you're understanding 
your behavior in relationship. Um, with on a from a single point of view, it's like you've gotten a hold of what you wanted. That's why I'm hearing you got you've gotten a hold with it, and you may be ready to get out to mangle. You know, if you've been single for a while, I see some of you going to start going out and having fun. You may be having some one night stands or just meeting people or just, you know, enjoying life at this point in time. Um, for some of you, it may be even as a relate as a couple, could be single too. You come into some money. You know, we love money. We have relationships with money. This is love and relationships. Love and relationships can apply to anything. We have a relationship with money. You may be getting some money in, and the money may actually fly through your hands with the eight of wands. You know, some of y'all may have a gambling problem as well. So just be careful of that. That's why the emperor is coming in like, you know what, we, we got to get some structure. We got to get some order in here. Um... Going back to my couples, if you've been good, y'all in a good spot, that just means y'all are just, y'all having some fun in the bedroom. Or it might it might not even be in the bedroom. Maybe be outside. Maybe in the car. I don't know. Um, you know, all my sexual messages always come up, I believe, for Scorpio. I don't think any other sign has had as many sexual messages than Scorpio. But, you know, you guys are some sexual beings, so, hey, it's going to come through in your reading. So this is you and your partner. Being able to have, you know, y'all having fun, you're rediscovering your sex life, uh, and you're actually rediscovering yourself within that. That could be that, too. Um, becoming comfortable with your body. I look at the red and the, the orange and the yellow. It makes me think of the lower three chakras. So, you know, a lot of chakra, not chakra, lower, lower three energy, lower self stimulation. Could be going on. Could be a lot of sex going on in the month of April for Scorpio. So that's cool too. You know, you, you definitely whoever you're having sex with, especially from a couple point a couple point of view, you're definitely comfortable with this person and you know this person. And if you if, even if this is a one night stand or just somebody that you're dating, they feel they give off the feeling like like you guys are comfortable. There's a connection. You feel like there's a connection. There it could be physical. But you, there's still a connection. It's not just like, hey, how are you? How are you? Want to go have sex? Yeah, okay. No, it's not like that. You've been talking to this person for a little bit, and you decide to go ahead and do it. And then once y'all do it, you just you see that both of you guys are pretty compatible, and you keep doing it. Okay? That's what that is. But overall, love, that's what it, you know, that's what I see. If you are planning to those in an abusive relationship, um, I feel like if you've been waiting for money, if money was an issue, and that's what's been keeping you there, like you were waiting on some money to get here, you're waiting on some type of, to be a, a tax refund if you hadn't gotten your tax refund yet, so you put your down payment on your, um, pay your deposit for your apartment, whatever the money that you're waiting on, or maybe they owe you some money or something like that, you're going to get the money this month, and, and as soon as you get the money, <laughs> you're gone okay I'm seeing this as a breakaway all right so let's see what else you have going on in career in your job life and your career hmm six of pentacles things seem pretty balanced you got a good work and home life balance ooh empress and then what is this? the king of swords so career-wise, I believe that I feel like career-wise things are going good. Things are pretty even keeled. You're able to balance your work life and your home life. I, I also feel like for some of you, you're learning more skills with the Empress. At the job site, there's opportunities for growth at your job. There's opportunities for growth within your career. You may be exploring that. Um, I do feel like for some of you, the ones that are exploring that option of furthering your education or um, maybe taking some training or just trying to learn everything that you can at the job, you're giving yourself a timeline. You're telling yourself, okay, this is 
this is uh, well, I'm filming this in March. Um, you may be telling yourself by the end of the summer, I want to be able to have enough. I want to know whatever this program is, so that or this process, so I can go and take a certification to get certified in it. Or um, I'm feeling for some people too. You give yourself the end of well, I was gonna say nine months, but yeah, I'm doing this in March, so December. I'm thinking I'm really feeling like giving birth to something with the Empress. Some of you are gonna be taking study courses or something like that. Or you, you could be saying, I'm gonna give them to 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 the blah blah y'all <laughs> I stood all over the place. You may be giving saying that you're deciding that you're gonna stay at your job for another nine months in hopes that you get another position. You're gonna keep applying. And if you don't apply, I mean, if you don't get anything, you're going to leave, okay? Or you're giving yourself the goal that in nine months, I will be in this position. Um, and you're sticking to your plan. You're sticking to your plan. Now, I do want to say, just got to say, it may be some extramarital affairs going on at the workplace. Um, I'm drawn to this Empress and the King of Swords coming up. I believe the King of Swords is just you sticking to the plan, but for some of you, you are having an affair at, at, at your job. Um, it could be with an air sign across the board. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, um... This affair, and it's interesting to me that this, this king of swords comes up under this devil. Um, this affair feels, and I don't want to say, you know, I'm not condoning anything, but I feel like between the, there's only a small amount of people, you know, that I'm talking to, and you know who you are. Um... This relationship feels very balanced. This this is like the person who, if it's not an actual physical affair, this is the person that you flirt with at work. You have, you know, we have your work husbands and your, your work wives. You have that type of relationship. I feel like whoever this person is, they actually bring balance into your life, not just from a from a, a, a business point of view, but from a personal level, like you actually like going to work to see them there. Um, that's strange that that comes up in a career. But I just feel that way. Some of you guys are about to go on a maternity leave. Some of you are pregnant at work right now. Um, so <laughs> I'm hearing some of you may get pregnant at work. So if you've been having sex on your job, you may want to be careful. <laughs> but, um, Especially if you have a safe on the job with your with your manager or you know your coworker or something like that, and one of y'all are married because I see that King of Swords is being married. Okay, so that's a strange little message I got for you guys, Scorpio. But otherwise, money is good. Is um, you feel like you're being paid what you're worth. As far as the Six of Pentacles. You feel like workloads are being pretty much evenly distributed, more so less give and take. Some days you may you may feel like you're working a little more than others, but generally it kind of evens itself out. But you know, I don't feel like there's anything pertinent, or it just feels like the same day, another day at the office. You know, not too much. You just if you're, but you're still focused on moving, advancement, okay, but you're still realizing at the same time um, that it's going to take some time. Some of you are giving, about to go out on maternity leave, so congratulations early. Um, let's get into finances. Six of Swords, King of Cups. Nine of Swords. So, what I'm feeling for some of you 
is that, and I don't want you guys to make it, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm making little of what I'm about to say, but I'm going to tell you, you guys know how I am. I feel like you're making much ado about nothing when it comes to your finances. And what I mean by that is you're you're trying to, I feel like you're you're trying to move into a space of what you think will make you happy, but you really don't know how to get there when it comes to money. Maybe your money situation is not the best. Um, I feel like you are worried about your finances, but I but I feel like the worry is unnecessary. I don't feel like it's warranted. Because with your job, everything is coming up pretty valid. Maybe you're uh, worried that you won't get this raise if you're expecting a raise. I feel like some of you guys are expecting a raise. And this is you moving. Like if you don't get what you want with the King of Cups, you're, you're, you're going to leave. But you feel a little apprehensive. But I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like your actual money situation is as bad as you feel like it is. I feel like there could be some changes that could be definitely made. Every there's always room for improvement, and you're doing that. But yet and still, like you move, you're moving into a place of emotional satisfaction. It may be for some of you, especially my. Um, this is you. You're coming off as the King of Cups. Maybe you're worried that you won't be able to provide for your family the way that you want to. You want to move into a better, a better, a better position. Y'all, is all over my words. Excuse me. To be able to provide for your family, you may be at a point right now where there's things. Although you're happy with what you, what you have, again, dead in the center, you you still want more. You want more, and this is you're staying up at night worrying about it. But I feel like you don't have to do that, Scorpio. Things are going they're evening out for you on the on the on the job, money wise for you. Um and if it's not even if you're not working, the universe is still gonna provide. The most high is still gonna provide for you regardless. So I feel like you're weren't this is a time where you need to be um with the devil, the king of swords and the nine of wands. You gotta be in control of your thoughts. You have to be in control of your thoughts right now because I just don't feel like it's what it is at this point. Okay? I, I feel like that's more of a, you're thinking from a place of lack right now. You're not thinking in the mindset of having abundance and knowing that you're going to be always taken care of regardless. And that's what the King of Cups to me symbolizes um, now the King of Cups is a drinker so some of you may be like I said it, it could be a little worried about this thing I, I noticed Saturn in the background so it makes me feel like there are some life lessons that you learn when it came from money regarding money maybe you lost a little bit of money um, let me draw another card because I don't like to end off on a on the nine of one, nine of swords. I'm trying to figure out what you're so worried about. Though. Let me see. Ooh, baby. Yeah. yeah, about that. Oh, you still it. You're worrying about if you're gonna, if you have what it takes to make it to, to make it to survive on a financial level. You're worrying about um, when more money is going to come in. Are you going to get what you want? That's what I see with the King of Wands. The King of Wands um, is definitely a person who gets what he wants. He is a businessman. Maybe some of you are worried about startup costs for starting your own business. Maybe you, you're moving into a place where you want to do something that you love and maybe working on your own is what you love but you're worried about it. You you may think that you don't have what it what it takes to be the king of wands, you know? To be the king of wands. 
Because I don't feel like this is a person. I feel like that's an energy. So, no, this this is, again, the three, the three lower chakras, the lower cells are popping up again in these two cards. It's about your root chakra, your solar plexus, and, well, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus, red, yellow, and orange. Um, you got to let go of some tendencies, baby, as far as this negative way of thinking. You got to get your confidence up to know that you are able to do this. And, get in. and that's where the emperor comes in as well, you know, to snap you back into reality and let you know that you are capable of achieving whatever goal that you want to achieve. You know, this is what you want. You want growth. You want abundance. You want prosperity. You want things to mature. Even, you know, in your relationship, in your money, in your in your job, that's, this is what you're wanting. Okay? And I feel like for you that maybe it's not moving fast enough. Because I got the eight, what, where you are right now, you have the eight of wands, the empress, and the king of cups. So it's like, this is what you want, but it's not moving fast enough. And it makes you feel this way. It makes you feel worried that you're not accomplishing your goals. But you are accomplishing your goals. Okay? Things are growing for you. That's why you have to get order. Order in your thoughts. Structure your thoughts. Create a game plan for yourself to keep yourself on track. Because I, I feel like for some of you, you're, you allow your emotions to get the best of you. Um, and it's just that you want what you want and you know how you want it. And you want it so bad that you can see it. You can taste it. But it's not, it's not moving the way that you thought it was going to move. And it's just saying, okay, it's, it's going to be okay. But in the meantime, while this thing is it's growing, it's maturing, it's not ready yet. Okay? So just, just keep that in mind. You're going to get there. You're ending up with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I just wanted to see what you were worried about. But I feel like, again, you're moving to a place that is that feels comfortable for you. Your finances are going, are going to feel comfortable eventually. But you're moving into that. So any previous spending habits that you used to do, that is not going to work for you anymore. You're taking control of that. But yet you still, you still worry because it's not working fast. So this, this is fast energy, the Ace of Wands. And um, it, it's not moving very fast for you. Not like how you thought it would. But it's coming. Okay? For health, six of cups, eight of pentacles, three of wands. Okay. Some of you are going to start jogging. <laughs> like, or, or running track or something. What I feel... I feel very physical. I feel like this is something from the addressing your physical health. Um, some of you are really upset with getting back down to your high school weight, or at least a weight, maybe in your early twenties or something like that. You you want to be smaller. I, I hear you, I, especially women. Not more so men. If it's a man, my males out there. You, you want to have that physical stamina that you had when you were younger. You, you're wor and you're working toward that. And you're going to reach your goal. You know, this could be a thing about weight loss right here, too. Um, but you're working towards that goal, okay? Lifting weight. Some of you may be increasing some cardio. This is you waiting on the results. You put in the hard work in uh, to get what you want. But, again... You want to, with the, with the Eight of Pentacles, there, it's a slower moving energy. What I see this person doing, you're waiting for your results. You're waiting for the final result or the final outcome. But these are wands. Wands move pretty fast. So you're, you're, you're anxiously waiting. But this is a process, let me remind you, that it's going to take a while. It may not take years. You may be giving yourself a year. Maybe, you, you know, you're giving yourself one year to do a total transformation. I hear for some of you, it's before your high school reunion. You're starting some type of plan before then. 
Um, you're starting to plan now so you can be, you know, down to the size that you want to be by that time. That's like, what, September, October for homecoming. Um, some of you are incorporating your children into your plan. You're feeling like you have to include, you're seeing that a whole family, if you're doing a lifestyle change, it's going to include the kids. You're going to be meal prepping, meal planning, doing research. Some of you are going to start using a little app. Um, getting outside, definitely more. You're realizing that you got to get outside. You, you've been cooped up in the house or at work. You, you, you've been cooped up too much. Or at work, because some of you just, you know, just a little work up there. But you realize you got to get outside. There's a whole world outside for you to explore. <laughs> so get outside, get you some fresh air, um, and continue whatever you're doing. Because I feel like for some of you, you already been doing it. This is not something that um, you're just starting. Some of you may be starting, but majority of you, I feel like you've been doing it. Um, I Oh, just got a message for this. I'm, I'm so drawn to this nine of swords. I don't, this is a card that I don't really like to see in a reading because it's just, there's no, even with the ten of swords, I can see some positivity because it's at the end of a cycle. But I don't see positivity. Very rarely, if ever, I see positivity with the nine of swords. Every time I see it, I feel instantly depressed. And I feel like some of you are going to be feeling that way. And I don't like for you guys to feel that way. So what I'm going to tell you is the best thing, when I see these two cards here, because this is what you really want, you guys have to start manifesting, using work, keeping yourself grounded. That's why the emperor is coming in. Using grounding stones um, for the root chakra. You can use hematite. Or um, I really don't... Or you can use, I have a black obsidian, a small little black obsidian that you can use, or I mean that, that you know what I'm saying, y'all. Um, but overall, I'm feeling carnelian. Carnelian is a, a stone that is, I feel like you can use it for all three personally, but it's a, it's a stone of motivation, it's a stone of transformation. Um, also, Sunstone and citrine. These stones. Oh, and iron, iron pyrite, uh -oh. which is fool's gold. These stones, for me, on a personal level, are stones that keep me in line when it comes to keeping my mind on track and focused towards reaching a goal. Um, these stones do give you a little boost of energy. I even posted about that on Instagram about my um, fool's goal. The very first day I, I wore it, I'm like, oh my God. Um, I would feel like I was just like a chicken with his head cut. I was just running all over the place. But I was, I had like, I felt like a breath of fresh air was uh, pushed into me. And it gave me like a new lease on life, really, what it was. My body was very sensitive to that actual, to that particular stone. I was able to focus on what I needed to do at work. Um, I was able to, I'm not, for those people who know, I'm not a person who, I don't write everything down. But I, I recognize the benefits of writing things down. Using this stone, I was able to write down and execute whatever I needed to do for the day. Um, my mind was much clearer. I feel like for some of you, you also need, if you haven't got, if you don't have one, a clear court to clear some of that, to give you some clearer thinking. Because I feel like you're overthinking, overanalyzing, just worrying for no reason. Just worrying because it's not there yet. And that's what you're used to doing. you got to get your mind clear. Um, and if you're having trouble sleeping, so the light. That's a good one. Some of you are not dreaming because you're not even getting a lot, enough breath. Um, and even a amethyst. That's another one that can help you rest at night. Um, 
And even Mukay Jasper, I'd like to, I, I, I feel like I need to tell you guys, Mukay Jasper is a little reddish type stone. This is a stone that helps you um, to take better care of yourself. It actually ages the slow, the, it slows the aging process. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're stressing yourself out and it's making you look tired. Okay, this is going to, if you, if you, I feel like some of you with this nine of swords, like you haven't been keeping up the best hygiene lately. Like you've been missing some baths or something. You don't think, but you just haven't been worried about your, your upkeep as much as you should have. And so using that Luke Jasper will help you. It's a slow, it's a slow, um, the effects of it is a slow. It's not as immediate as like the iron pyrite. But it, if you wear it for a while, you start in April, you'll start to see, you start to be more cognizant and more um, aware of your daily habits. So, good song. Um, also, that helps to remind you to eat right and to do things, you know, drink more water. It remind, at least mine does anyway. So, that will also help you with the health section. Okay? Because you're trying to maintain what you're doing. You're trying to get it. You're, main, you're maintaining it. <coughs> excuse me. And or you're perfecting it. So the Mukate Jasper will help with that as well. Alright. So um, advice. Boom. The moon card. What I said earlier about you not you have to trust the universe or you have to trust God, you trust the most high, you trust in Jesus, you trust in whoever you choose to believe in, trust in Allah, you know, you you, you trust in Ra, you trust in you trust in this is to me, you're trusting in that you know that you're gonna be okay. You're listening to your intuition. I I feel like for some of you, a lot of you, not even some, a lot of you or allowing your mind to rule totally left brain right now. And it's telling you that you actually what the the emperor is telling you to do, you need to get back to yourself, get some order and get back to yourself. Scorpios are very intuitive. The moon rep represents intuition and dreams. And like I said earlier, you're not dreaming. So you don't feel like yourself. You gotta get some rest, baby. Look how side also works. <laughs> at least for me anyway you, you've got to get some rest you cannot stay up worrying all night you have to trust that everything is going to be okay look at the moon only half of it's uh, full there's another half of this situation that you don't know about and, you know you, you're worrying about the outcome but it's just telling you to just sit there and just be he's not worried when you look at this moon car, he's just sitting there and looking, waiting. Just like a pregnant lady. That's all you can do sometimes. Just sit there and wait. And that's what that means. Trust. Listen to your gut. Trust in the process. Um, you, Some of you may not be all, you may not be hanging out with your friends too much. But, you know, people may be a little worried about you because you may not seem like yourself. But whatever, you just stick to yourself. Is that what you've been needing? Because I feel like some of you have been wanting solitude and been needing solitude. Stick to that. Because you have to and clear your mind. Because the, the universe, God is talking to you. But you're so trying to get things, um, you're overthinking things that you can't listen. Okay, you have to be able to listen to yourself. Listen to yourself think, because you have some wonderful, wonderful ideas, but they're not being used right now because you're like on sensory overload. So that's why the emperor is coming in, just to get some order. Like I said, some things have been out of order and unbalanced right now in, in the past. And so he's coming in to, to do so, and that's you. That's yourself. He's telling you to get in touch with your highest self. Believe in yourself enough. Believe in yourself enough to know that you can accomplish your goals. Believe in yourself enough. Have that intent. Keep your intent strong, guys. This is, you know, a part of this is just a part of the process. It's not going to last forever. 
but you have to stay motivated, okay? And part of that, that's what the universe requires. That's what God requires, that you you have to do your part too. The other part is going to be taken care of, but you have to do your part. And part of that is believing in yourself and keeping the faith and, and keeping a positive attitude. You won't be able to accomplish what you're doing if you keep an attitude like this. you are always worrying that it's not going to work. Always worrying that you don't have enough money to accomplish your goals. Say, wake up every day. I have money coming to me. Unexpected money. I'm a money magnet. <laughs> I know I'm going to be taken care of. I know I am protected. You know, I, I, I will allow my intuition to guide me. I will listen to my intuition. Every day is going to be a great day. It doesn't matter what happens. It's still going to be a great day. It's another day above ground to get it right. So just think about that, my Scorpio. Stay encouraged. Be staying motivated. And I love you guys. If anything in this reading um, resonated with you and you would like a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye.